This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Good morning, everyone, and I'm Dr. Jonas Seneca. On behalf of Dr. John Seneca, I'll be hosting this program today. What's up, Doc? So, before we start, I would like to introduce to you my very gorgeous and beautiful co host for today because Dr. Seneca is not around. So, wala akong gorgeous na co host, pero meron naman kapalit si Dr. Seneca. Uh, may I introduce you, Dr. Cynthia, ay, uh, sorry, attorney, sorry, sanay kasi ako sa doctor, attorney Cynthia Bahamundi. Ay, good afternoon, Good doctor. afternoon, Good afternoon, Dr. Jonan, thank you. And good afternoon to all in spite of the rain today. Oo oh, nga. And I hope you enjoy your Saturday. Okay. Yes. Okay, so <coughs> for this afternoon, attorney, it's, it's, it's a very um, sensitive Pero interesting topic. I think we haven't had this uh, topic. We haven't discussed this topic ever in this program yet. Yes. Uh, we're talking about depression right now. Yes. For today. And it's very timely because uh, uh, last week, Kate Spade died I of know. suicide out of I depression. Know. And also, I think that last night, no? yesterday, it was this, uh, the um, international chef, uh, Ant Anthony, Anthony Bourdain. Bourdain. And I know, it's so sad because, you know, those two people. <coughs> I, I really admire those two people. And it's, it's, quite, it's, it's not quite. It's actually very shocking for everyone, I guess, because they're international icons, right? Yes. So, um, this afternoon, what we are going to focus on is more on uh, depression, specifically in teenagers. Yes, among teenagers. Right? Yes, Filipino teenagers right now. Okay. So, um, before we proceed, let's introduce our two very cute, cute, cute guests. Uh, uh, let's, let's just ask them to introduce themselves. themselves yeah. oh, oh. Okay, so we start with the lady first. Yes. My name is Bea Magada and I am from UP. I am, I am an incoming freshman in UP Manila and I will be taking up behavioral sciences. Wow! Hello, Bea. <coughs> Artista, Hello. no? Very beautiful. Brian, yes? I am Brian Priscillas, uh, incoming freshman of De La Salle University in taking up communication arts and legal management. Wow. And yeah. how old are you? I'm 18. You are 18. How Bea, you are? I'm 19. You're 19. Oh. Okay, so, so pasok na pasok dun sa ano natin na uh, mga teenagers. Yes. Okay. Sige do, uh, attorney. What, what okay, would you are you aware ask of the word depression or the state of being depressed? Yes. You, yes. Got, you guys have heard of that So already. what is your um, concept about depression? Can you answer that, Brian? I think depression is the state or condition of one person wherein he or she thinks that he or she has already exhausted all the like remedies in life mm -hmm. and because of the sadness or the like the condition he is he or she is under he or she feels like there's nothing left but to like be isolated be marginalized from the society and just be alone mm -hmm. I think that in and itself is depression and the right. symptoms of sadness already uh, are testaments to the fact that we are all, we are all vulnerable to depression. Wow, very good. Uh, na revalida ka ni attorney, ano? <laughs> oh, oh. Bea, how about you? Any ideas about ano? Um, what depression what is? What I know is that be, uh, when a person is an, uh, suffering from depression, it is when they are in an abnormal emotional state. Right. When they cannot be, um, they feel like what Brian said. They feel isolated from the people that they love, and even though. Others are reaching out. They feel as if they will still be judged and they right, will not right. be understand. Mm -hmm. So, um, what they do is they isolate themselves. They do not want to talk to them and they don't want to express their problems. Uh -huh. uh, it usually stems from traumatic events or even day-to-day -day problems and pressures. 
Ayun po. Ang huhusay sumagot, parang ginugel maigi nila itong ano, no? <laughs> yes, yeah, so, um, to. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is depression common among your age, among yeah. your peers? Kasi kayo yung considered uh -oh. na millennials, eh. Yung mga, mga yes, teens so, um, uh, nowadays, you guys are... Um, you guys are the ones who are very exposed to, to mga gadgets, technologies, mga mm -hmm. kind of the easy research. Life. The, easy life, oh, the <laughs> easy life, yes. Is it common among yeah, your for peers? me it's common. I think the generation today, because of the like the notion that it's me, me, me generation, that we focus on our appearance, mm -hmm. we focus on our achievements. We commonly, like the youth today commonly feels like just because you have lesser achievements as compared to your classmates, for example, yeah, yeah. or if you have a lesser good or, or like up um, good complexion as compared to your right, your peers, right. mm -hmm. you easily get uh, sadness or you easily get vulnerable to being depressed. I think it's common because of the expectation of society to mm -hmm. to the youth today. So there's peer pressure also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, how about you? Have you seen somebody in your group or in your school who experienced profound sadness or depression? Have you guys? From what I have observed, yes po. Actually, there are a number of um, students and friends in my group that actually experience depression. Usually, yun nga po, from pressures in school and um, pressures sa sarili. They really uh, put themselves in this position, in this situation that they think they should be able to achieve this sort of things, sort of... Um, uh, parang achievements at this type of age and so pagka di nila nagawa yun, parang na ano sila, na talagang na-pressure. Nakaka and, nalulungkot oh, ka po, agad. Natotoxic, ganun po, this is stress. Pia, um, if, if, if with, with your observation, like sa peers mo, friends, and uh, those you know who are um, mga teenagers within your age, Anong usual talaga na complain ng mga millennials or, or you know, kids in, in your... Anong usual complain talaga nila kung bakit sila nalulungkot? Kasi it starts there, eh, right? Yeah. So, ang sinasabi nga nila na um, there could be a cause, pwede ring wala, pero usually kung may cause, hindi sila makapag-cope up like the normal, you know, normal... Uh, person would cope up to this situation, pero yung iba, they couldn't. Ano bang, anong usual na na-encounter na mo sa friends mo, sa sarili mo? Ano bang usual na nakakalungkot sa inyong mga teenagers? Ay, your common problems. Mm -hmm. Di na your natin kasi problems. alam eh, kasi medyo hindi na natin sila <laughs> Iba na yung problema you know? natin. Iba na yung problema Usually namin, po kasi, eh. when you're depressed or when a person is suffering from depression, hindi po sila talagang ma-express ng problems nila. Yeah, so, oh. siguro yung mga common na uh, nire-reklamo nila in day-to-day is yung school po or family grades, problems. Grades, more of grades. Opo, yes po. And okay. yung workload siguro. Pero uh -huh. po, usually it comes from a greater issue na hindi po talaga minsan ma-pinpoint kasi hindi nga po sila marunong masyado mag-open up. Okay, right. How about you? Um, for me, in addition to what Bea said, I think the greater issue that she's talking about is in, in addition to the pressure given by the society and given by the school and parents, it's the fact that not enough people listen to these youth. Right, not enough right. people reach out their hands and lend, the, lend their ears so that people can listen to what the problems may be. So that they, it, what happens is then they keep it to themselves. They hide the feelings from, like, they hide it from the people they love. And there's no enough help that reaches them, that makes right. them really depressed. Yeah, but probably because you're not opening up. Diba? You're not telling your parents mm -hmm. or your friends. Probably you're too... You're too shy you're to shy. tell your, your difficulties or your problem. Or some is that also common among your among people your age? Or I guess some teenagers could also um, think like it's a bit awkward to open up with your parents. Because, mm -hmm. for you know, in your age, parang, um, it's not like you know, like adults when when you face a, well, when you you have a problem, you just have to face it, confront the person. Ganyan. Nisan kasi sa teenagers. It's also hard for you guys to like open up, parang baka sabihin medyo cheesy or yeah. something. I guess you guys are very conscious about that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, siguro po, kasi it really depends on how you relate to others. Mm -hmm. Kasi nga po, kapag depressed ka, you isolate yourself. So, usually, hindi din siya nakadepende sa pag-seek uh, mo ng help. Mm -hmm. Dapat din, yung persons around you, the people who loved you, uh, who loves you should also reach out to you. And should be sensitive kasi, also. Oh, yes, yes, right. Sense, right. It's uh, a simple hello, are you okay? 
is enough na para ma-feel nila na may, may pakipalaw sa akin yung iba. Okay. But then among youth today, no, yung people your age, are they aware of the word depression or the state of um state of mind of being depressed? Are they are they conscious now of that? Okay. I think with all the things happening around in society, yes, they are aware and the uh, and the ease of access in terms of like Google right. and the internet, oh, how we naman. can be able to search with one click. I right. think they're aware of the term, but the real tangible um, effects or the consequences of depression, most people ignore or are not courageous enough to admit that they have it or it, people are vulnerable to it. Attorney, I just want to ask them a question kasi maiba lang tayo. Kasi nowadays, medyo uso rin yung, lagi natin naririnig yung cyberbullying. Uh, have you heard of anyone within your, your group, your friends, or kahit mismo kayo, toto bang may, common to? And have you guys experienced uh, this kind of, of bullying, what they call cyberbullying? You know, sa social media, mga, mga Facebook nyo, nababash kayo or something, mga Twitter. Have you guys experienced any of those? Uh, cyberbullying po really is evident na talaga nowadays. And I experienced it, pero hindi po siya talaga severe. Kasi po, usually among groups or kahit people who don't really know you that well, they mm -hmm. like to call you names, pero you take it as a joke. Or minsan kasi that is how they mean it as well. As a okay. joke ko lang. Kasi it's, po, it was like, other like people, half meant lang. Yes po, oh. eh, not all people are ano, able to cope up with that. Or yeah. hindi lahat is equal yung pagkakatanggap ng mga ano. Hindi porket ang meaning mo, joke ko lang eh. Joke lang din oh, sometimes iba, some so. people are just very sensitive and they take it personally, right? So what do you do in case you experience those kind of bullying? Bigla silang natahimik. What do you do? What? Mm. Uh, me personally, I haven't really experienced the fullest extent of cyberbullying. But if there are people who disagree with, for example, my tweet or my Facebook post and they comment on it, for example, like, share ako na Lebron is not the greatest player of all time and then oh, people are gonna mamaya marami ka ng ano magpo-flock sila sa comment basher, thread oh. ko na no, no Lebron is the greatest player of all time I think what I do is just I engage with using a healthy discourse I comment what I think I comment the facts why I think this is not I Lebron is not the greatest player of all time I think in, in the same breath we should all engage with people in a healthy manner mm -hmm. that we should not call them names we should not uh, resort to attacking ad hominem, like attacking in an ad hominem attack. So, uh -huh. Tapos, uh, aside from what you said, yung what affects your um, emotional stability, peer pressure, the bullying, cyber, or actual, or the, the school um, situation that you're in, um, is it also affecting you also, the situation of your family? Is it also a, a great consideration or a great factor that can cause you some emotional disturbance? Sa family. Of course po. Siyempre, uh, they are the immediate persons in your life. Pagkagising mo pa lang, sila yung mm -hmm. bubungan sa'yo. How they treat you really plays a great role of how you deal with life. Kasi, sa bahay pa lang talaga. Opo, sa bahay pa lang. Kapag yung turo na sa inyo or di kaya yung trato sa inyo, talagang makaka-apekto yun sa ano mo, stress. Mo. Of course. Okay. So, okay. In your case, no, kayo, no? Because um, ang situation is far better than the rest, you know? probably you're far better than the out-of-school youth, yes, the, those in the urban poor area. Um, can you, how do you cope up? What are your common problems aside from schoolwork and other... Um, Kayong mga konyo. Kayo, okay. <laughs> ano ba usually ang... Millennials, ano? man, tawag. Mga millennials, so... Aside from schoolwork, I think the expectations of parents... Yeah. Because these are usual. It means a lot to you guys. Yeah, it definitely. means a lot to well, so lahat naman young people. Yeah. Yeah. That parents, of course, have their sense, mm -hmm. like set of ideals for what they think should be taken up in college for their for uh, for their children or what their children should be should be like as a professional. And I think if my mindset is a lot different as compared to the mindset of my parents, it sets a mood to me that they ex maybe mm -hmm. if I not able to meet the expectation, I'm a disappointment, you know. So aside from schoolwork, the expectations of parents in a lot of areas. Right. But how about romantic relationship? I'm sure at your age oh, or having... Hindi natin yeah, oh. Do you oh. get disappointed also when it comes to a heterosexual relationship? How do you guys how do you guys deal with these kinds of problems? Kunya hindi nakikinig yung parents niyo. <laughs> Personally po, when I have problems with ayun po, romantic relationships Yung immediate po na pinagkakwentuhan ko, of course, is yung friends. Kasi friends po, talaga una. Mm -hmm. uh, they understand kasi di, we are in the same group. Right, tapos right. they know po the person uh, na pinag, uh, 
pinagkukwentohan namin, ganun. Pero at times, you really do need to confide to your parents as well. Mm. So, do it you? Really, <laughs> do you do. confide? Really? Yes, Crushes po. and boyfriends? Yes po. Kasi about I'm, you? That's very I good. I do. I do. My mom knows a lot about my love life. So. Uh, yes, okay, so. good. Good job. Good job for these teenagers. Actually, uh, yung napansin ko, attorney, is um, what what these these millennials are actually talking about. It's actually common din, hindi lang sa teenagers eh. Yeah. It's also, you know, yung same yung problems nila are also the same problems that actually adults yes. experience. It's just that maybe because they're teenagers, syempre less pa yung probably experiences nila compared to other to yes. to us adults na sometimes they just don't know how to probably ventilate or to whom to consult or kanino mag open up. I guess it's it's just it's just like that. Eh. So it's very very important. I I think talaga is that you know you have a very good support group. Definitely number one is family. Before yeah. para bago sila pumunta sa ibang mga mga you know mga sources of uh, advice or something sa friends or ano kasi hindi mo naman alam kung tama yung mabibigay sa kanila na advice especially ng ibang tao. of the same age no? yes definitely pero sa family kasi talaga nagsisimula at alam mo talaga na walang ibang walang iba silang intention but to help them yeah. diba Your yun talaga family, yung yeah. oo matatrust mo talaga and also i i notice among millennials right now because of the easy life that you have right now and like in our time, we need to research in the yes. library. Kayo, you easily get research, get the result of whatever assignments you have at the click of your fingers, diba? So I think millennials now are more sensitive. They are more, they're having difficulties when they are faced with problems. They easily give up. Do you think, uh, am I, I think might totoo correct? Totoo totoo ba yun? Yun? Yung, yung notation sa, millennials sa, right now. sa yeah. age group ninyo ngayon na mas you know, just because you, you guys get uh, everything so easily so easy, with yeah. just one click or kung ano man, do you think you guys are masyadong maano, mas makomplain kayo kesa dun sa And mga, mas prone to frustration oh, and depression. Mas, mas oh. prone kayo sa frustration or depression. I, what do you I think? agree, I agree. You do? Because wow, the generation actually, today actually have he would like a lot of things <laughs> at our disposal. We have a lot of easy access to information we have easy access to communicate with our with the people we love for example abroad just using messenger even buying even buying um, out. online shopping if you want to talk to someone if you want to see someone it's so easy unlike before kailangan natin mag overseas yes. call para lang makausap yung mga nasa abroad and now you guys can talk to anyone actually kung nasang part of the world man sila right how about uh Bea? Yes po, I agree. Lalo na po at this time, ang dami po talagang problems sa society and sa country natin. And I observe na yung uh, millennials or teens na kagaya namin is mas, mas, ano sila, mas exposed sa mga ganong issue compared sa mga teens before us. Right. Parang mas Tama. vocal din sila yeah. sa opinions nila. Tama. So parang kapag may nakaka-against sila, not everyone is, yun nga, not everyone is... Uh, not everyone agrees with them. Not everyone also is capable of um, engaging in a healthy communication. Right. So, dapat attorney later um, will go. We'll, we'll be discussing these uh, this topic, Brian. Pero more of in depth, naman. Because yeah. later we'll be we'll be having another guest yeah. and um, an expert on the field. Yes, yeah. she's the expert on this field, and we can ask questions sa kanya. And even the, our our guests can also ask questions sa kanya. And uh, we'll be talking more about this when most of the talk returns. We're back here at What's Up Talk. I'm Dr. Jonas Seneca, and with me here is attorney Cynthia Bahamunde, the ever beautiful and gorgeous. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we have another guest. Um, mm -hmm. She's a certified psychologist specializing in marriage annulment and family adoption cases, and a fellow member of the Psychological Association of the Philippines, where she served as a member of the board of directors for two consecutive terms. Aside from being an academician, educational administrator, and an author, Dr. Gerald Dentria also maintained an active practice as a clinician and a consultant. Also, well, 
I'm so happy that I met her after several years. Oh, oh. She was my teacher when I was um, yes. studying clinical psychology. And I'm so happy that I see you. What a very nice yes. reunion. <laughs> yeah, when I learned yesterday that you will be our guest, I was really excited to, to see, see you, her again. I'm also excited. <laughs> it's a long, long year. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome to What's Up, Doc. And uh, so uh, just uh, what we've been discussing a while ago is about uh, more of depression, uh, specifically on um, depression within teenagers. Mm -hmm. So, uh, ma'am, can uh, you maybe say I something about that? Maybe I could give you a little background okay. of what a depression is, no? Para maging understood by everybody yes, in layman's po. term. Yes, ma'am. Sige po. Ang layman's term ng depression is you feel miserable. Ano yun yung miserable ka? Miserable. Uh, you okay. feel uh, downhearted. Mm -hmm. Normally, that is normal, no? But there are different types of depression. Yung miserable na feeling, you feel uh, insecure, that is normal. Mm -hmm. Okay? Lahat naman but, nalulungkot oh, oh, at na insecure. Lahat tayo nakaka-experience yes. ng parang blue moodiness, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But later on, you have uh, intensity. So, from mild, moderate to severe. Okay. Yung severe, ay hindi mo na yan makausap. Opo. Tapos, ang attitude niya is negative, pessimistic, pessimistic. parang helpless. Okay. That she is totally ano, lower, very low self-esteem. Okay. Ang pananaw niya sa rili, walang kwenta siya. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, that is the severe, wherein self-destruction will happen. But there are also, well, lately, no, we have uh, popular people, successful people, uh, undergoing depression also, and finally yes. committing suicide, so like sad. Kate Spade, oh, oh. and this chef, si Anthony Bourne. Yes, and even Robin Williams. I know. It, yeah. it, Kasi, it's, ano, I mean, ang karakteristik ng severe depression, you have a false delusion, a belief about yourself, na hindi naman totoo. So it's in the mind. It's in your mind. Yeah. It's so I, difficult to yes. change it. I just want to ask, Doctora, could this be... Like, for example, yung mga icons nga natin who, who had depression. Could this be because of it's already, kumbaga, uh, bata pa lang sila, talagang ganun na sila mag-isip? Or could, could it be because there was probably this, uh, some situation that they just couldn't handle? Or talagang innate na sila, baka ganun na talaga sila before and they were just, you know, they were just striving so hard to cope up with everything until, boom, yun na, hindi na Kasi nilaban. ang source of that is home adjustment. Sorry, sorry. Home. Okay. Home and family adjustment home, it, plays right. a very important role yes, okay. in the development of self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Yung tiwala, the, the, word, uh, the feeling of worthiness is deep-rooted during childhood. Okay. So, I have a case, for example, an actual case, wherein the, the person, the teenager, feels na hindi siya anak mm -hmm. ng family niya. Your parents. So, yeah, yes. saan, bakit? Kasi lagi akong pinagagalitan eh. Okay. Parang yon, nagiging punitive lagi ang parents, you uh -huh. know? So, ang belief niya, hindi siya part of the family. Kasi so, lagi siyang oh, pinapagalitan. Oh. So, if day in and day out, pagdating ng umaga pa lang, oh, wala kang kwenta. Ano ka ba? Hindi, hindi ka gumagawa. Meron po, may siblings po ba ito? Ma meron. Ba ah, meron. Eh, marunong yeah, yung kapatid niya. Uh -huh. Siya, parang, di ba, napipil mo yun na, parang, hindi yata ako anak. Ganon. So, Be it's a false hmm, belief na hindi siya totoong anak. Okay. Oh. Um, I soon ask Bea. Bea, um, yung mga gan ganong pangyayari, do you, do you actually experience that? Or kahit yung mga friends mo, have you heard of anyone like that? Kasi lagi ko naririnig yan eh, yung kumbaga para bang may mga taong nalulungkot sobra kasi feeling nila mas magaling yung kapatid oh, nila. Yeah, lagi right. ko naririnig yan eh, magaling yung kapatid, mas mahal ng parents yung kapatid, minsan naglolokohan pa, no, ako talaga yung tunay na anak ko, yung favorite, ganon. 
She isolates herself. Parang may time din na ano, nagre-rebel siya. So, hindi siya masyado sumusunod. Ganon. Tapos, she compares herself to me and to uh, our younger sister okay. na mas ano daw, mas magaling or mas favorite. And then, so what my mother did and what my father did, syempre, ano, they tried their best to reach out to my sister. And ngayon, okay na yung relationship namin. Tapos, na-understand na niya na hindi talaga ganun yung nangyayari. It's yun all in her mind. And, yun na, iniisip niya lang yun. Kasi, yun nga, important talaga na yung relationship mo with your family, especially your parents, yes, is okay. Kasi one. sila talaga yung mag-reach out sa'yo. <laughs> Ayun. You mentioned earlier, Doktora, that um, yung depression has stages, no? There oh, are severe cases. Mild, moderate, severe. Mild. So, uh, do you really consider um, depression as an illness? Yeah, that is, is a sign it? of mental disturbance. And what oh. are the common causes of this illness? Uh, common causes? As I've said, faulty training. Faulty, faulty training, training of parents. Training. Yes, yes. Um, so anything excessive talaga. Talaga to. too much love is bad. Yes. Then, no love, ganun din. So if the parents must be fully aware of their responsibility right, to right. moderate lang. Tama not too lang. much, not too... Or Wag lack masyadong of spoilin oh, yung bata. Spoilin. Na to the point Wag na akala niya okay oh. lang lahat. Mm -hmm. She can get away with everything. Huwag din masyadong kulang. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. Gusto ko lang maisingit, uh, attorney. Kasi um, I think it's, it's very timely dito sa discussion natin ngayon. Kasi I've been watching this series. It's called uh, the 13 Reasons Why. I think it's very it's very yeah. popular with teenagers, with... Teenagers. with with uh, actually kahit adults I would actually recommend that not to teenagers actually because it's more of the parents of yes them. definitely for the parents of the teenagers to and because mm -mm, actually yung, ang story nun um, attorney actually tamang tama nga na nandito kay kasi gusto ko yung i-consult kasi nanonood ako nito eh so gusto kong mm -hmm. ano gusto ko ng feedback from you kasi um, it's actually uh, about school bullying din eh ah, and school. depression this um, <clears throat> a high school girl, she's a teenager, she committed suicide in this series. And dun sa buong series na yun, um, ang nangyari sa bandang last part is they were suing the school because um, they were, probably they were sort of blaming the school because there were bullying that happened, not just to the girl who committed suicide, but to everyone. And it was affecting almost yeah. a lot of students. May, may, nangyayari ba talaga to sa totoong buhay o baka sa series lang to na talagang pwede mong isu yung school if, if a student or a teenager committed suicide, pwede natin itrace baka mamaya sa school nang galing itong source na ito. Well, actually, What's your... uh, actually in our law, no, right mm -hmm. now, uh, we have um, a law on bullying. Okay. And as uh, on school, kasi natin is a substitute substitute parental authority. Yan eh. Once your children are in school, they should be protecting your kids. Parang also. second home supposed yeah, second to be home. nila. Okay. Kahit nga when they go out of excursion or mm -hmm. in building or whatever, no? Sagot, yun waiver, sagot ng that school. That is not valid eh. Uh -oh. Yung waiver na pinapapirma, mm -hmm. actually that's not also valid. Mas, mas kasi yung, uh, uh, yung, uh, yung parental concern nila as a school is, is primordial, di ba po? Oh, okay. Ngayon, um, yes, it can, they can be sued civilly. No? Iba yung criminal case, civil case for damages, especially if the if the school cannot contain. Kasi all of us now are aware of bullying in the school. Yes. It's sure common among stu uh, students. No? Student. So it is the duty of the school authorities to, to, to do something, to stop it, to to eliminate or to hindi lang hindi lang mabawasan prevent. but to, to totally prevent mm -hmm. no so they should conduct seminars also they oh. should conduct counseling also among students i think um not only here but also particularly in the united states no they're very conscious about yes. that yes, yes that's right. and everyone all of us should be more concerned about it now 
I think it will depend also, I won't call, there's a class in school, ang marami pang bullying nowadays, no? I think it's common to all schools. All schools, whether that private is why, or in oh, public. Oh, but they have that sense of responsibility. The first line of defense is the teacher. Yes. The oh. teacher must be aware na may nangyayaring ganun. Yes. Oh. And do something about it. So, Otherwise, dapat talaga well-trained yung mga teachers din about dito sa mga well, issues I think they have, diba? yeah, they, they, they have. They do the seminar, yes. workshop. They right? also have clinical psychology uh -oh. or the guidance counselor are well-trained. Yeah, like the implementation, the implementation. Right. is not strict. And they the follow. cooperation must not only come from the school but to the parents as well. Mm -hmm. I think parents should be attending parents-teacher yeah. conference yeah. so they can talk about their children, the students, how they behave in school. I think that's very important. Mm -hmm. But now, since parents are very busy, no, sometimes they do cannot monitor their children in school. So mm -hmm. that's the problem. Means na nagiging hiwalay na yung school, school, bahay, bahay. Wala yeah. nang pakeng. And that's why I'm very thankful for you to invite me. Yes, Dr. So Cara. that the parents, teacher, and uh, peer group should be fully aware of the consequences of depression. Yes. They take uh, they take it for granted. Mm -hmm. So. What is the first uh, manifestation that they yes. have? Depression. Yes. And if we, what are the uh, signs? Oh, the, oh, signs. the signs yes. are... That, um, so everyone please listen to this. Oh, oh. Sige. Sige, Kasi unang una, is, uh, is there a change in the behavior of your children? Try to observe and listen. Because mm -hmm. they want to say something, but they cannot find an outlet. Or they maybe don't know how. how. Or oh. maybe the parents are too strict. Yes. Baka kaya, magalit. Oh, mag oh. magalit. O kaya uh, ostracize sila. Something like that. So the parents must be fully aware that this is an illness that is curable. It is curable at an early stage. Okay. Early stage. Kaya yung, ay, halimbawa, hindi na siya lumalabas ng bahay. Yung interest niya, wala na rin and low of energy, walang, walang enthusiasm to mm -hmm. mix with other young ones. Yes. So those are signs that you should not ignore. You have to listen and observe. That is um, number one. Doctor, just a question. As a doctor also, um, in, in, your, in your practice, po, what do you think is um, more difficult to handle when you encounter teenagers with depression or yung younger generation or sa adults? Anong mas, anong mas mahirap? Anong mas nakakatakot na ihanda? Uh, mas nakakatakot maraming... sa bata. Mas kung, nakakatakot kung sa bata. Kung ang parents hindi supportive. Okay. Uh, better prognosis, the outcome is better if the parents will help in the intervention. Tutulong sila. Kasi uh, useless naman kung, alimba, bibigay ako ng therapy, hindi naman supportive ng parents. Hindi, hindi pinapalo ako. Useless. Mm -mm. Mm. Pero mas nakakatakot talaga sa younger ones. Younger ones, ones oh, because they lack adults. experience. Yes, they diba? lack the coping mechanism. Oh, oh yung mean. coping, wala pa. Wala pa. And the lack of experience, because we, we adults, syempre alam na natin oh, kahit oh, pa paano. Marami tayo na pagdaanan. So, we have more coping mechanisms. Oh, better choices. Yeah. I read somewhere, no? One of every 10 Filipinos now, between 15 and 24, years old, admitted to being depressed. Okay. In a survey conducted by the UP Population Institute and the Demographic Research and Development Foundation, only one in every three depressives seek help, according to the Department of Health. Is that true? Yeah, that's right. Kasi nga, akala nila, it's just an ordinary isolation. Nalulungkot lang. Nalulungkot lang. Moody lang. Pero hindi. Rooted pa, maralim pa yun eh. Oh. But is it um, is it um, important that you seek professional help? Like, with, uh, you... if already, uh, halimbawa, uh, ano na siya, hindi na kumikibo, ayaw na makipag-usap, detached na. You need to have a professional help, a psychologist. Kasi darawang treatment yun eh. You could have psychotherapy mm -hmm. or psychologist, psychologist. or um, parmatherapy. With May. the psychiatrist, okay, we have to because we do not prescribe medicine. Mm -hmm. So, dalawa. Okay. For milder ones, ano na, psychotherapy will do. So, uh, very simple lang naman eh, ang treatment eh. Mm -hmm. The parents must allow their children to talk. To talk. To express out their pent-up feelings. So, encourage ano them to oh, talk. Oh, to open up. 
Okay. Simple lang yun, makinig ka. Ano ba problema ng anak mo? Right. Diba? Ayun na. It probably, um, for me, I, I think, ha, kasi probably it doesn't really have to be the parents. If kung halimbawa, the parents are not around anymore, like yeah, it, mga anak, support at system. The, the, the primary guardian oh, should, oh. should be pwede, there. Pwede. At least someone that... Oh, oh never to no can, one. Never yes. to no one. Pag no one yun, yung hindi siya nag-express, magpa-pile up yun hanggang maging neurotic siya. Mm-hmm. And then, that is a severe type. Ayaw na makiusap. Oh. Oh, may false belief na. Excuse me, Doctor. I also noticed no, that suicide out of depression are common among students or the younger generation, younger generation who are in the upper level of the society. No? Mm. I seldom see or never did I hear anything that uh, an urban poor child, uh, a child from an urban poor committing suicide out of depression. What can you say about Kasi, that? Because in terms of relationship, ang problema ng upper bracket is more of interpersonal relationship. Yun ang mga mabababa, mas closer sila sa family nila. Kaya lang, socio-economic naman ang problema doon. Kumbaga, Hindi or mas sanay sila sa problema oh, talaga. Oh, probably mas oh, busy sila oh, oh. sa halimbawa sa, oh, kailangan kong magtulungan si nanay magtinda. Busy na oh, siya masyado oh, para pag-isipan That's pa itong right. mga bagay na to. And napansin ko po sa... You know, Filipinos, they have a stigma when it comes to parang, oh, ayoko magpa-psychologist kasi pag nagpa-psychologist ako, sabihin may problema na ako kagod yeah, sa yeah. utak. Stigma. For Filipinos, pero in the United States, it's actually very common, yeah, to, common. to actually consult a psychologist, if I'm not But mistaken. But you know, med- medyo na bago ngayon. Ah, kasi nowadays, Kasi noon, ang concept, the stigma attached. Right. Na pag nag-consult ka sa psychologist, medyo... May baliw ka na. Pero ngayon Sa hindi na. You know, Iba na, na professionalized na psychologist. Opo. So, there's a board the, exam oh, na. Oo, board exam. Plus yung support ng guidance. Yeah, yeah. Whenever may problema ang bata, they do not allow them to enter without psychological diagnosis. Oo. Oh, so, it's because of the social nabago. media. Nabago. Oh, di ba? Right. Mas aware na oh, tayo. Oo, mas aware na tayo na kailangan tulungan natin to may problema. So, Doktora, uh, saan po namin kayong pwedeng kontaken or the people here or the people yes. who need your help para their children can be brought to you for assessment and for some yes. therapy? Saan po? I have a, tell them kung... I have G, uh, TRIA, Psychological Testing. And where Dula. is that po? That's Marikina. It's in Marikina. <laughs> you can Robin say that complete village. address po. Provident Village, 4-0, Princeton Street, Provident Village. And where they can contact you, point oh, you. Can, can oh. you, uh, Doctor, can you also give the number where they can contact you? Just in case, because I, I believe that there are a lot of uh, teenagers, not only teen- teenagers, even adults, that we can actually reach think, out I have uh, a for help. Card there, inyo. Ah, okay. There are the number out. Uh, may I have a calling card. Ah, uh, ito, oh. <laughs> pwede ba ibigay? Okay. Uh, so, 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 pakita mo na. Yeah. So, um, for everyone, for everyone who, who actually experiences these kinds of problems, we can contact also Dr. Or, or any psychologist, psychiatrists, or even your your uh, especially your parents, those who who um, can actually help you. And we would like to thank you, Dr. We would like to thank you, Bea, and thank also you, Brian, Bea. our mm-hmm. guest a while ago. Thank you so much for for being with us and. Um, sharing these these things to us because I believe that there are a lot of people who actually experiences this and cannot uh, talk to anyone about this for help. Mm-hmm. Doctor Sincha, any part, a parting words? Attorney. Mm-hmm. Attorney Sincha. <laughs> ano ba yan? Sorry. Well, I just read this kanina, no? I would like to, to mention this. So, people think that depression is sadness, but it is not, di ba? People think depression is crying. People think that depression is dressing in black. But people are wrong. Depression is a constant feeling of being numb. Being numb to emotion, being numb to life. You woke up in the morning just to go back to bed again. So my, my words to the parents out there to look, up, uh, look carefully to their children and be more protective about them, be more open with them. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, attorney. Thank you, that was uh, very beautiful. And thank you, Bea. Thank you, Bea, thank for being you, here. Thank you, thank you everyone, thank you, Bea. for okay, thank you so for listening and and giving us your time. I hope we we were able to help a lot of uh, the televiewers. And please um, tune in next week for another episode of What's Up, Doc. Thank you. Thank you.